Off the top right now at five, breaking news involving the police shooting of a man earlier this week. New video showing the moment he held a gun up to officers. And good evening to you. Thank you for joining us at five. I'm Brian Loftus. And I'm Denise Valdez. So let's get right over to eight news now. I team's David Charns with more on this compelling video. David. Yeah, Denise and Brian, Metro Police just wrapping up a briefing saying a man was breaking into a trailer at a mobile home park where he also lived. Video shows him then pointing a gun at officers. And I do want to warn you before we play this that this video may be disturbing. Hey, Mike, Mike, listen, man. Nothing's changed. We're still here to help you. Just drop it. Drop it, drop it, Mike, drop it. We're here to help you. Mike, set that gun down. Mike, set it down, set it down. Mike, we're here to help you, put the gun down. Police say three officers filed a total of 11 rounds at 41-year-old Michael Allensworth in this mobile home park near downtown. That was Monday. They say they tried to de-escalate the situation for nearly a half hour before Allensworth then, as you saw there, raised his gun toward them. This is how the assistant sheriff described what led up to police arriving. I will tell you that what we have learned from speaking with the homeowner of the trailer that was burglarized is that uh, there had been an interaction the day before, and it appears that Allensworth came back to the trailer the next day to have a confrontation with the homeowner of the trailer that was being burglarized. Allensworth was armed with a pistol. He did not fire any rounds. Now, this marks the fifth officer involved shooting in Metro's coverage area so far this year. At this time last year, there were three. I'm David Charns, live, local, now.